The figures cover the 13th of March, where cruise calls were first stopped from entering Gibraltar, to the 18th of June. Though the government's regulations in March specified cruise liners, the Port Authority says it has protocols in place for all technical calls, irrespective of whether it's a cruise ship or tanker. It adds that the protocol for crew changes apply to all kinds of ships. Around £76,282 was raised for that period in port dues in 2019. That same period this year has raised £297,524, almost four times last year's figure. A government spokesperson told GBC they believe the increase is down to a combination of factors, the most obvious being the ongoing situation worldwide with COVID-19. They said the fact that there is less activity due to the virus in some sectors of the industry means that vessels are being laid up waiting for orders, and in turn this generates more revenue as the longer they stay in Gibraltar waters, the more fees they accumulate. The figure for this year is only a projected one, as vessels are only invoiced once they leave the rock. Local companies working in the bunkering industry have told GBC that some vessels, particularly cruise liners, are just drifting in the area and continuously refueling, sometimes just outside Gibraltar waters, as it's cheaper to do this than dock somewhere permanently. For example, Royal Caribbean's Jewel of the Seas, which has made at least five technical calls to the rock since the 13th of March. In response, the government told us that in instances such as these, vessels have been drifting in international waters away from BGTW and are entitled to do this. It adds that it's a positive sign they choose to conduct their operations on the rock as this generates revenue for Gibraltar PLC. As the government makes moves towards its pledges on a greener Gibraltar, could that business come at an environmental cost? GBC asked the government for an answer, but number six has declined to comment.